Hello Dairy Today viewers from the Stuart Peterson advisory team. Here's your Dairy Week in Review. We'll wrap up the week by taking a look at how prices did on the week. You can see here looking at cheese to start. Um, both blocks and barrels down sharply. Uh, we did see some nice gains earlier in the week. Um, getting above the $2 level for our price. Um, did see some sellers step in and really take things down here lower in the last couple of days. Um, getting in this 180, 185 region for our block barrel average. Also seeing butter soften, uh, continue to soften over the last couple of days and weeks here. Uh, found a bottom uh, just above 164 for butter. Um, powders did finish on a strong note here this week. Um, you can see December and January way um, both finishing higher here in that 62 to 63 uh, region there. Um, and also looking at December and January non-fat dry milk, um, those components also finish higher uh, in light of a strong lower cheese market. Now looking at our class three prices here, uh, November being the front month, not a lot of volatility there. Actually saw November tack on some nice gains, um, continue to stay above that $19 level. Uh, looking at December and January, those two months were hardest hit uh, with the sell off we had here in cheese. Uh, December down 43 on the week, January down 20. Um, out past January into next year, uh, February wasn't hit that hard on the week um, considering cheese was down um, significantly, uh, February only down a nickel on the week, and March, April also um, hanging in tough uh, despite cheese being lower. Actually saw double digits gained for both those months. Looking at our class four prices, you can see the front month in November, seeing some selling pressure there. Uh, found a bottom right at 18 even. Uh, further out than that, December through April, tacking on strong gains uh, based on higher moves in the related components. Coming back to the cheese market here, looking at our block barrel average on a weekly chart. Um, you can see we did have buying interest early in the week. Pushed us above the $2 level for the first time uh, since we had here back in August. Um, right above this $2 level, heavy resistance came into play. Um, took us down further here, uh, very sharply towards the end of the week and found our bottom right in the 185 region. Looking at December on a daily basis here, on a daily chart rather. Um, you can see here strong gains in the beginning half of the week, uh, almost getting close to that $20 level. Um, something we haven't seen here um, for quite some time going back in the summer. Um, once we got to that 1978 level where we put in the high um, with the selling that took place in cheese, um, we were down significantly. On Wednesday down 55 cents, uh, Thursday down limit at 75 cents. Um, initially today, down pretty heavily, also found a low at 17.84. I uh, did see some buying interest into the market at that point, um, so that was some good news to finish the week, uh, closing right at 18.33, uh, which is the previous contract high um, that we saw a couple months ago in this 18.30 region. Also looking at cash butter once again on the charts here, um, you can see how much we've softened over the past couple weeks. Um, just shy of 165 is where we closed here. Um, haven't been this low for butter uh, since last December as well here. Um, so you can see um, we did put in a low last December around 153. Um, so if we don't find any support in this 160, 165 level, um, the next support comes in uh, at this 150 level. We did have the latest uh, milk production report out as well here this week. Um, looking at the month of October, um, you can see on this chart um, we've had minimal growth here over the over the course of the year, um, looking at October, we were up 2.1%, so still, still in that minimal region around 2%. Um, continue to monitor that as we close out the year. Also looking at milk cows on farm, uh, you can see over the past couple months here, been relatively flat, uh, hanging around that 9.2 million um, cows on the farm here. Um, so we have been flat relatively. We did see a bump in growth um, compared to last month. We were up 9,000 head but still overall growth uh, has been at a minimum and relatively flat over the last couple months. Looking at the next week, the big questions on everyone's mind, uh, can cheese find support in this 180 to 185 level? Uh, after sharply falling from the 202 level, um, are we gonna consolidate in this 180 to 185 level? Or are we gonna have a snap back higher with further seasonal and holiday demand uh, to drive the market higher? Or are we gonna break below the 180 support? Big report out next week as well. Uh, next Tuesday, we have the latest cold storage report. Uh, very critical report in the seasonal 
uh, demand time period uh, to see where those cold storage numbers are at. From the Stuart Pearson advisory team, I'm Rocky Ging with Dairy Today and AgWeb.com. Thank you.